In today's video, we are building a $40,000 no game pass autumn house in Bloxburg. So we're going to tour and then get right into building. Okay, so I love this house. This was so much fun to make. I really like the outcome. It's super nice. So aesthetic, so <laughs> cozy. Yeah, I really like it. I love the colors together. Yeah, so I was going for a soft kind of like aesthetic look and I definitely think we hit that. So I'm happy with it. And we have pumpkins everywhere, of course. So we're going to go check it out. The interior, I think, is my favorite. And my favorite room is this living room right here. I love this room so much. I think it's so nice. Let me just show you the entrance real quick. It's simple. <laughs> We're gonna go back to the living room because I just adore this room. We have a really nice fireplace to keep you warm during the cold autumn nights because I have been freezing in real life like the last three nights sleeping with two blankets. It is too cold. I don't know why it's so cold. I don't know. I feel like it's still too early to be so cold, but whatever. Maybe, maybe it's me. <laughs> anyway, this will keep you warm at night. And then we have this really nice like shelf design with these books i love those books i love the colors together and then tables are super nice it's very symmetrical and i love these paintings they're like my favorite autumn paintings so yeah i just really like this living room okay so let's move on sadly we're gonna go over to this bathroom this is a really easy two by two bathroom i know everybody's gonna get mad at me for placing windows but like realistically you have windows in your bathrooms so yeah this is really easy to make and really cheap super fun yeah okay let's go over here this is another like hallway which will lead basically to your kitchen and the other bathroom and bedrooms this is the door to the garage we don't care about the garage though <laughs> so this is the kitchen i actually really like this kitchen as well this kitchen is so nice it definitely matches with the aesthetic that i was going for that soft kind of look we have a lot of like paintings and post-it notes over here um but i do really really like this kitchen the colors are just so nice together i love these pumpkin string lights if you guys don't have them you'll get them soon with the update they are so awesome one of my favorite halloween update items so make sure you stock up on those because they're just great so yeah i really like this room we're gonna move on now to our first bedroom over here so this is a nice bedroom probably for like a teenager or a kid if you're gonna role play love the colors love the paintings pumpkins so nice so this is your personal bathroom for this bedroom very simple once again another two by two bathroom and again, we have windows. Please don't grill me for placing windows in my bathrooms. Does anybody like not have windows in their homes in real life? Like I feel like everybody has windows in their bathrooms. I don't know. Just put curtains over them if you don't want people to stalk you, I guess. Anyway, this is our final room. So we have two bedrooms and two bathrooms total. This is more so like a master bedroom, probably for the parents if you are role playing. So it's really nice. I love these paintings. They're so cool. And we have a lot of like plaid going on. So I just think it looks nice together. It's a very autumn like pattern yeah this one's pretty cool i think i like the other bedroom more i feel like i would choose to live here if i had to choose but i do think my favorite rooms have to be the kitchen and the living room love these rooms and so much space to walk around in so guys comment below what is your favorite room or rooms and let me know if you're gonna rebuild this house so we're gonna get right into building right now i had so much fun building it so i hope you guys do as well or i hope you just enjoy the build process so get comfy get a nice autumn snack and we're gonna get started right now so this is our layout and as you can see game passes are off so we're gonna begin and place the pillars first otherwise you can't place them with walls so we're gonna use the plain pillars and we're gonna start five squares back and then we're gonna place one down we're gonna color it white with the smooth plastic and then we're gonna copy it and we're gonna go to the right by two and then we're gonna go up one and then over to the right two times i'm gonna try to make this not confusing so we're gonna go up one and then to the right by two down one to the right three up one two three four you you can go to the left by three then you can go up two to the left by two and then down two and then down one so we have this area finished go back to this pillar go up one to the right one to the right two now we're on the outside again so up two to the left two to the left three down one to the left four then down four and then down three and then to the right by two so all the pillars are placed hopefully that was okay you can take a screenshot of this arrow view maybe that's easier okay anyway we're still gonna place the walls so five squares back we're placing two walls down oh wow Bloxburg is lagging again just made a video about how it was lagging last night and now still doing it we're gonna color it white with the brick material the interior walls are gonna be colored mid-gray because I love those maybe we'll change it up though depending on the rooms I don't know 
we're gonna copy that wall we're gonna place one directly back and then two to the right and then one back again then we will place two to the right this time we're gonna recolor the walls to light stone gray with the horizontal planks material i love this combo i use it often yeah i'll take a break from this in my next video so i'm sorry so we're gonna go down one and then to the right by three and then up four up three up two to the left two to the left three down one to the left four down four down three, down two. So the exterior walls are placed. We could place the interior walls. I'll go over what each rooms are gonna be. Make sure your interior wall color is colored. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> this is going to be a bathroom. This will be the living room and the entrance area. And then this is going to be a hallway. This is the garage. And this will be like an extended kind of hallway, which will lead to your kitchen and dining area over here. And then a bedroom right here, another bedroom, and then a bathroom. So two bathrooms, two bedrooms, solid. Let's place the roof. So get that over with we're gonna use the gable roof and we'll start over here on this point we'll go all the way back and then to the right by four and then all the way back down to this point and then to the left two and then down one also make sure you selected also make sure manual placement is on so it's easier to place down and then you can just place it and we're gonna color it dark stone gray with the metal roof material once again i love that combo as well and then we're gonna color the wall color of course and then the ceiling color uh, i want to go with white and the ceiling tiles again i haven't used those in a few videos so it's about time <laughs> next we're gonna copy that roof i would turn off the roof so it's easier to see we're gonna start right here in the middle of this wall we're gonna go to the right one two three four times and then we're gonna go up two and then to the left by four and then you can raise this up a little bit because look how much cheaper it is if you do that and then we're gonna place a roof starting at this point and going all the way back to the right by three and then all the way back down and i'm just gonna raise that up a little bit so that's covering the garage if it wants to be placed you know there we go and now we just have to recolor this to match the wall color and then back here i am going to cheat my way and use the flat roof so that's it for the roof okay so we're gonna place the windows now so we're gonna use the small panel windows love these i'm not even gonna bother recoloring it i'm just gonna give it like an orange hue because this is gonna be like a modern autumn themed house so i'm just gonna copy one and then place it and then we're just gonna like center these and then i'm gonna copy that window and we're gonna the same thing over here place two down and then center them okay that's it for the windows so now we're gonna grab the doors so i want to use this arched panel side light door and we're gonna place that right there we're gonna color it white and then mid gray and then like the orange again and that is it and then we're gonna grab this garage door this traditional garage door and we're basically coloring it the same as the front door so white and then it's already mid gray whoa we're not gonna use orange though <laughs> that does not look good i feel like oyster is nice okay cool so let's grab some wall trim we're gonna use a flat crown molding we're gonna place that on each wall okay and now for the bottom we're gonna grab the tall flat baseboard and once again place that on all these walls so easy all right now we gotta grab some light for this house so we are going to grab this natural outdoor wall lamp and we're gonna place that basically on the top of each roof like this we're gonna color it the same orange yellow that we use for the windows and then we're gonna just recolor this i guess mid gray and then place that at the top of each roof okay that's it hello me and i want to go to garden and grab this wooden wall planter and then place it above the door and then we're gonna place some flowers not many like we're just gonna grab the wildflowers we'll place one here color it that orange and then place one on this side and then i want to place a tulip and then color it like wheat yellow like that these are very fall colors right i think they are okay now this is the fun part so we're gonna decorate and like landscape we're gonna place a bunch of pumpkins and everything but first i'm just gonna grab the floor and place it down for the walkway and then for the driveway so over here for the driveway i want to make a path there you go and then i'm gonna grab the floor again and i'm just gonna place it over the grass and what we're gonna do is grab the mode grass lines texture and then color it grime so it just looks like more realistic and it also makes sense because the grass is gonna start to get darker because it's like dying so it kind of like makes sense anyway <laughs> you could even grab a fence and just like outline this this is kind of unnecessary if you don't want to waste this money if you want to save some cash you don't have to really do this and we can't place it all the way next to the pillars because of no game passes oh wow this is like really glitched what is going on so usually what i do over here is i will cover this up with like a bush so it looks more natural basically i also use these blossoming bushes wait where are the flowers blocksburg what okay there we go yeah i use these a lot and then i'll color the flowers like orange and then we can place pumpkins by like the front door blossoming bush over here with this bush next to it if you don't have the pumpkins 
house in your inventory it's totally fine you can build this house and then decorate for fall once the update is out yeah so i'm basically just placing pumpkins everywhere and then some grass oh my gosh this is really hard to work with i don't know why it's so laggy it's been like this since yesterday it's getting kind of difficult to work with bloxburg also these tropical leaves pretty realistic so we're gonna use those just place them next to this blossoming bush that should be pretty fine i'm just gonna grab some like stepping stones but instead of using actual stepping stones to save money i'm gonna use a bathroom mat and then we're just gonna recolor it like white with these rectangular tiles i kind of want to use these change it up a little bit okay so this is the exterior pretty nice really easy really cheap so we're gonna work on the interior now first we have to place down the floor i'm gonna use a different floor for the bathrooms so they're gonna get their own floor i usually use like tiles or like marble flooring for them i just feel like that's what you would use for a bathroom anyway and then i'm just using concrete for the garage i usually never like bother with my garage i don't know i just feel like that's usually empty or like you use it for storage so you can feel free to place anything in there it's kind of what you would personally do with it i guess so i want to color the floors wood planks with the oyster material i haven't used that in a while so let's go over to the front door we're gonna place down a welcome carpet i'm just gonna color this like white with the fabric and then I usually place down like a hat stand and then maybe some like slippers. There's supposed to be slippers right here, but Bloxburg, you know, is just not working. Oh, and there goes my hat stand. Okay. <laughs> okay, so basically the entrance area is all finished. I'm just going to add one more detail, which is this pumpkin string light. So obviously, like I said before, don't place these if you don't have them. I mean, obviously you won't be able to yet. So that's fine. You can wait until the update is here. We're also gonna grab the wall trim from outside. So we're gonna grab both the crown molding and the baseboard so go ahead and place those around this is a nice break once again so i will see you guys once we finish placing these all right the wall trim is all placed so now we're gonna work on the living room and i have a really cool living room design at least i hope so <laughs> so we're gonna start off by placing this simple fireplace and then we're gonna go to carpets we're gonna grab the circular carpet then of course we're gonna grab a sofa so this stylish sofa right here is super cheap but it also looks really nice in my opinion so we're leaving an area open over here as you can see because we're gonna be placing just a plain door here because it's super cheap and it still matches with like the colors that we're using because this will be the bathroom so we got to leave a little opening for that area and i'm also going to grab a table i love using this rustic table because of that little like design in the center okay so now we can color this so i'm going to color this couch probably like ghost gray and then i'm going to make the pillow like an orange probably this light orange and then i'm going to color the fire itself an orange as well probably the light orange again and then we're going to color the table linen with the wood grain material so we're probably going to use linen throughout this build for any wood colors why can't i place inventory okay whoa that was weird <laughs> you guys heard me clicking i don't know what's up with Bloxburg, but i think it's roblox in general lately has been really glitchy so anyway yeah we're using linen for the wood color because it's like a really light color super nice and it just kind of matches with what i'm envisioning the aesthetic of this house is gonna be so we're also gonna just give this carpet a different like material okay so now we're gonna go over to storage this is where it gets super fun so we're gonna grab a shelf we're gonna place that down we're gonna color it white and then we're gonna copy another one and then we're gonna do the same thing on this side and then we're basically gonna place some books as well as some pumpkins and other decorations so the book colors i'm gonna go with are like the light orange some white i'd say like cloudy gray and then like oyster i think they're like light fall colors so basically place those around these books are super cheap so they're great decorations to use and then if you don't have any pumpkins you could also use some mugs to place around these are basically like the colors we're going to be using maybe some grays as well you could even place some plants like this spiky plant is wonderful oh my gosh let me in my inventory okay <laughs> this might be annoying but hopefully by the time you guys see this video this weird issue is patched i don't know yeah so that's pretty much it for the shelves i thought that would be a cool idea it adds more to the build i think i was even thinking of placing down some tables over here linen with the wood grain material and then white on both sides oh i like that and then i'll place some like papers and books beneath it and of course some more pumpkins maybe we should place a picture frame i like never place picture frames i don't know why i don't do that this actually looks like it's perfect for autumn but i'm clearly gonna change that i really like this little design pretty simple i'm also gonna place this window over here because it matches these windows i'm also gonna place a painting right here and then one over here as well i'm thinking of even placing a painting down here <laughs> i think we'll color it like a ghost gray that's pretty and then one right here really symmetrical i just waited 10 minutes for my inventory 
inventory to load, just to place pumpkin string lights <laughs> above the fireplace. Roblox needs to get their act together. Oh my gosh, we can place a clock. Oh, I did not even know that. We're actually just gonna leave it that color. So we may add a lamp over here, but first let's work on the bathroom. So we're gonna color the floor white with the marble kind of floor. So we're gonna start off with the toilet over here in this corner. And then of course the trash can and the toilet paper. And then we're gonna need like a shower. So I think we'll place one right here. And then we'll place this like modern sink over here. And I know that there's gonna be someone in my comments who is screaming about the windows being in the bathroom. Listen guys, realistically windows are in bathrooms. I don't know what kind of people you guys play with in Bloxburg that like stalk you when you're in the bathroom, but that does not happen in real life. At least I really hope it does not. <laughs> Here's a mirror as well. I'm thinking of placing like a pillar, maybe two right here to kind of give some privacy, I guess. Place them with the roof off, otherwise it won't work. And then in this corner, if my inventory ever loads, I would like to place stacked pumpkins and then a plant. Okay, it's taking like an hour to load up my inventory. I'm not waiting long again, so <laughs> we're just gonna place a plant instead. And I'd also like to place maybe like a hanging towel over here, orange color. Really, really, really simple easy bathroom i think we can get some light over here i like using this industrial lamp i think we can color it linen that's pretty nice and we can move on over here this is the hallway which will lead to another hallway <laughs> which leads to the kitchen so i'm just gonna place like a door over here and we could honestly even place like a table down for some decoration we could actually place this one down we'll just like reuse it <laughs> i'll like delete the books this time oh the inventory wow it actually works now so we'll get a pumpkin i don't know what this table's purpose is honestly um maybe a table to like place your car keys down or something so you don't forget them on the way out yeah we'll go with that <laughs> We can probably grab that light that we just used and place it over here. Okay, now over here, we can grab this plain double door frame, but we can delete the bottom wall trim so that we get some money back because you're not going to be able to see it with this door frame. And we can even do the same thing over here on this wall because the door frame is going to go over there for the kitchen. I will probably just like grab these paintings over here because it is just too empty for me. That's better. I'm also going to grab that plant again and then we'll just place it over here. And a pumpkin, great. The inventory is working. It's cooperating. Very nice. Okay, so here's our kitchen. So we're gonna grab some counters. So we're gonna use the shaker counter. We're gonna place one right over here and we're gonna be coloring it white, white, and then ghost gray. I'm gonna copy that, place one there, and I'm also gonna place down a basic stove. I'm probably gonna actually swap those. And then a fridge in this corner if it wants to be placed. All right, it wants to stick out a little bit, so that's fine. Now we can just grab the matching cabinets. I wanna use tall ones though. So we're gonna start off with this basic one and it's basically just gonna be colored the same. Next, I'm gonna grab the shelf cabinet and then the half one right over here. So now I wanna just grab a microwave. We kinda need that. And over here, we can place some other appliances on top of the fridge, kinda like a storage area, I guess. So I'll place some items that I probably wouldn't use often in my builds. It could be like, a role play kind of thing where you can like store your items up there and then take them down once you need to use them yeah but i will place the coffee maker i usually do place that down in many of my builds because that's just something that like most people use i personally don't but it does add a great feature to your role plays we could even grab the shelves from the living room and place them right here and then we could grab like some kitchen items like maybe a pot or something and then you can just grab whatever other kitchen items and decorations you'd like to use i usually use like utensils like those and i'm also gonna color the stove real quick kind of just to match same with the fridge sometimes i like to use the spice racks because they take up lots of space so they're great decorations and everybody always loves a sink so here you go we'll just place like a towel and then soap again i'm just copying it from the bathroom to save money so you have room to cook over here i want to add string lights over here and over here but um you know roblox is not working again so i do want to place pumpkins up here as well but yeah this is really annoying so i guess for now we'll just go place the kitchen table i was going to use this round table and just place it down there color it linen with the wood grain material and then the chairs i love using these log stools once again linen with the wood grain material and then like a gray i guess ghost gray with plaid and then we're gonna do one with like an orange oh i would love to place a pumpkin as a centerpiece oh my god 
gosh, it worked. So here's a pumpkin and then we can place some other pumpkins up here. No, it's gone again. While we wait for it to come back, I'm gonna place a carpet and also a painting because that's lovely. A shelf beneath it, very nice. It would look even better with the pumpkin string lights. And I'm thinking these windows, probably just like two of them over here. We got it. Okay, so the pumpkin string lights are gonna go over here and I think over here, right here, right here, and then above the painting. So now I'm just gonna color these like white just so they kind of fit in more. Okay, now I feel better. I'm gonna place some plants over here. Maybe even like a corner shelf. Sometimes I do this and I'll place like kitchen utensils so it kind of like acts as a storage i guess and then i'll just place the plant over there like i'll place maybe some like plates and stuff some bowls and a pumpkin okay wait i can grab that stacked pumpkin now finally okay so that's pretty much it for this kitchen it's like really cozy i love the lighting but we do need a bit more i'm thinking this plain chandelier i kind of insinuate chandeliers with haunted mansions like luigi's mansion <laughs> so we're gonna color it light orange yeah luigi's mansion is so goaded dark moon is my favorite and i can't believe that it's getting a remake oh my gosh next summer everybody buy it okay we gotta support it sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> i think i'm also gonna place another painting over here yeah i do this often but it takes up that like empty space over here so we'll place two of them and i'm also thinking of a carpet i'll probably color it white with that like same material and that's pretty much it so nice so cozy yeah i like this kitchen it is pretty nice so far but we definitely need stuff on this wall we'll grab some paintings this is nice yeah this is a really nice painting i don't think i even knew this painting existed not sure how i missed that it's still kind of empty to me so if we just place like a clock and maybe some like post-it notes not really sure why we would place post-it notes i mean i guess you could for like writing down recipes or something <laughs> you guys are creative make up something yeah that's that's better i'm just gonna change the color of some of these all right now this kitchen's pretty solid you have plenty of room to walk i love the lighting so let's move on over here to our final two bedrooms and bathroom oh so exciting so we gotta grab this door again one there and then one right here so so let's work on this first bedroom right here. So I want to use this modern single bed in this corner because there's going to be like a door frame over there as this will be the bathroom. So I'm going to color this bed like the linen again. I do want to go with an orange, maybe like plaid again. I think light orange. We could even place like that table from the living room over here. Like I said before, I love this table. And then we can place an alarm clock. I think we're also going to grab a carpet and then color it the same as the carpet that we've been using. So we're going to place some paint so i want to go back to this painting one here and then like one next to it and then i'm thinking of placing a shelf right above the bed and then some string lights again now i'm also going to grab those windows i'll just place like one in this corner and then we're going to go back to our plants and those stacked pumpkins we might also place another window over here and then just like center them and this wall i think is going to be white with bricks i'm going to recolor that some more detail and we definitely need like another painting over here it is way too empty so we're basically doing that same design with the shelves and then like before we're gonna paste some post-it notes okay that's pretty nice and then you have enough room to walk over to your bathroom i think we do need a lamp though this one's pretty nice we could place it in this corner and we could color it the light orange again wonderful okay so this floor i think is gonna be white with rectangular tiles this time i will place a bathtub because we don't have one the bathtub going that way and then we can place the toilet over here and then we'll use the sink right here and that should be good then of course just add your toilet paper and like trash all that the soap the towels this time i want to place a mirror over the bathtub i color it linen and it looks so nice okay i'm also gonna grab windows <laughs> place two here yeah my comments i just know they're going to be filled with rage because of these windows <laughs> a nice picture to look at or a few nice pictures to look at while you bathe i guess and i think two more shelves we're not gonna have as many books though we'll like replace them with towels shampoo i think would be smart all right i'm good with this so let's go over here to our final bedroom so i'd like to use this modern double bed i think we'll place it this way it matches with this bed so we're basically gonna color it the same except i think this time we'll go with a gray color i do want to place a large painting back here kind of like a tapestry you know and what we could actually do is copy this light and then place it in this corner and it'll light up this area so we don't even need to add another light which is perfect so we can 
can save some money. I will grab this window from the living room and place that right here. And then we'll grab a dresser. Oh, I forgot a dresser in this room. Okay, we're gonna use this dresser. We're gonna color it linen with the wood grain material and then some books and like perfume, whatever other decoration you'd like. I think what I might do is actually take the decorations from that bedroom, place them over here because I realized I forgot a dresser. Yeah, so we're probably gonna place this lamp there and then we'll have to just grab like this small modern dresser. I'm so sorry <laughs> about this. It is kind of late right now. I have to go to bed, so... <laughs> We're just gonna color it like linen. Okay, that kind of looks better. Hopefully it's not too like cluttered over here. We'll place a pumpkin. That will definitely make it so much better. And then this carpet over here beneath the bed. Maybe we can place like one more plant over here and then that should be good. But I do want to make another like painting design over here. So we're copying the paintings from the kitchen. That's kind of nice. Very simple, but it looks cool. I think we're gonna go back to those post-it notes. Like these are great decorations. I can't emphasize it enough. They make so much sense being placed in bedrooms and they just take up so much space so it's great. Place them over here. So yeah, this was pretty easy to make. Very simple. I am going to quickly grab a lamp on the floor. Does that make sense? I'm not really sure if that makes sense or not. Hopefully it does. We're gonna place that over here and then maybe like one more in this corner just because it's a bit dim. So now I think we're officially finished with this house so here's an aerial view i'll turn like the sun off <laughs> just get rid of the sun so that you can like see it a little bit better oh that's nice yeah it's pretty bright which is nice i love the orange glow it's so pretty wow that's really bright <laughs> yeah so i really like this house a lot and i hope you guys do as well so yeah it's super cute super cozy perfect for our fall and autumn yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed let me know in the comments below if you rebuilt this house and if you did great job finishing it and i hope you have so much fun role playing in it i'll see you guys in my next video love you guys bye